Hello, this video will be on social network friend requests, so sending and accepting friend requests to become followers of each other. So people will be able to see posts, click on profiles, send friend requests or unsend them, accept them or deny them on the other side. And then you can be friends and see posts of that person in your feed. So to do this, we've created a new data type called friend request new. Each friend request has a list of users the person who created it, as well as the person who received it. Then we show a news feed which has all posts. And perhaps you can click on one of the posts like Taz or Brian, and then you can send a friend request or unsend it. Of course, this could be on different pages. And then Brian will see that friend request in their list of friend requests received and be able to accept it so we become friends. So first the basics, we just have all the posts here and the post creator. So we can click the post creator to display that user because creator is type user in the group view profile and to show that group, which was previously hidden. We're talking about this group here where we can then send a friend request. So at each instance in time, we only want to see one of the three buttons, either send friend request. When do we want to see it? when we're not friends with that person yet, when we have not sent them a send friend request yet, and when we're not looking at our own profile. So therefore we only show it when the current user's list of friends, which is a list of users, doesn't contain the parent group's user, and the parent group's user's friend request news list of users, so that's all users in friend requests we have, doesn't contain the current user, and the parent group's user is not current user see a small mistake it's supposed to read parent groups user when the user's friend request news list of users doesn't contain parent groups user and parent groups user is not the current user okay when do we want to see the unsend button we want to see the unsend when the current user's friend request list of users minus the current user because we don't want to see ourselves, but we're actually in this list contains the parent groups user why are we in this list because each friend request always contains us too. Okay, and when do we want to see the unfriend button when the current user's list of friends contains the parent group's user? Okay, so what happens when we send a friend request? We'll create a new one, and to the list of users we add the parent group's user, so the profile we're viewing and ourselves. By the way, if you had a group chat or something, you can keep on adding list of users underneath each other. Add, add and Bubble figures this out. Okay, and then this friend request, we want to save it to the current user as well as to the profile we clicked user. So I've just created a new field underneath user called list of friend requests. I made it a list and I've selected friend requests, which is the data type we created earlier to accommodate this feature. Okay, so we create it and save it to both sides. That's fine. When we unsend the friend request, we just want to delete it. We first have to find it in the database. To do it, we take the current user's friend requests, because remember, after creating the friend request, we save it to the current user. But now we only want to take that one friend request in the entire database, which both contains ourselves as well as the parent group's user. And as this will only return one match, we can take the first item of this kind of search. Okay. When we deny a friend request, it's also very simple. We just want to delete it. Current sales friend request new because this group here shows all friend requests. But importantly, when I sent a friend request to Brian, I don't actually want to see this on a friend request received, right? I only want to see the ones which I received, not the ones I sent. Therefore, we do current users friend request news filtered and the creator is not the current user. You may say the creator, we never actually defined the creator when we created a friend request, but actually Bubble always automatically saves the creator and the created date and the modified date of the friend request news or any data type. 
OK. So now when we accept the friend request, we then want to do, we want to add that person to the list of friends. Find that person, we take the current sales friend request, the list of users, minus ourself, first item, because again, each friend request contains two users and the list of users, ourselves as well as the other person who sent the friend request. And so we can do minus item current users first item because this list of two things is reduced to one thing. And so we can just take the first thing and that's a singular thing which we're changing. And to that user, we add the current user to the list of friends. On the other side, we take the current user and to the list of friends, we add the user we clicked except to. So this is current sales friend request, list of users, minus item current users first item. Then we want to set a state. Why do we want to set a state? We just want to show a nice alert showing that you're now friends with X. So therefore I've gone on the entire page, click I and created a state by clicking add a new custom state. I made a type user because we want to save the user as we want to display who we are now friends with. So then when we click, we do again, we set the state and we don't want to show us. So we do again, current sales friend request, list of users minus item, current user first item. And we want to show the alert because the alerts are normally hidden. So we just have to show an alert. And then after that, we actually also delete the friend request. So whenever we click deny or unsend, we delete it. But also after accepting it, we delete it because these users are now already in each other's list of friends. Okay. To also show that who the friend request is by, again, we do the current sales friend request list of users because this is again just the profile which was clicked and ourselves and we do minus ourselves and display the username okay then we want to see what happens when we click unfriend as you can imagine we are just removing that user whose profile we're clicking from the current user's list of friends and the other way around too Okay, so in action, we just, our name is Barbara, we just sent a friend request to Brian. So we can go over to updater and Brian. And Brian should now see that friend request. Indeed, friend request by Barbara, we accept it. We're now friends with Barbara. And now I can also see here my friends, Jonathan, Tass, and Barbara. And by the way, instead of showing all posts, we can now also search only posts where the created by is in current users list of friends. So this basically gives us a newsfeed where we're only seeing content by our friend. So you may remember here, there's actually here a post by someone anonymous. So when we, when we now refresh the page, we should no longer see that post. That's right. Okay, and now the final part. I think we have to log in as someone else here. I think Barbara should do. We want to see the people you may know because you may know this from other social networks. This is a way they use to find people. So how do we find out people you may know? because Tass maybe is already friends with Jonathan. So we want to see your friends' friends. To do this, we have a repeating group down here. And there's a lot of people actually we, we don't want to show. First of all, we want to show the current users list of friends, list of friends, so the friends' friends. But what we don't want to show is the people we're already friends with. So we do minus list current users list of friends. And also we don't want to show the people whom we've already sent friend requests to. So minus list current users friend request news list of users because yeah, we've already sent them a friend request. Further, Jonathan's friends and Barbara's friends may be the same. So therefore we only want to show unique users. We don't want to show TAS here and then TAS again here because both Jonathan and Barbara are friends with Tess. So we do unique elements. And then also we don't want to show ourselves because our friend 
and our friends of friends is of course friends with ourselves so we don't want to show ourselves either and that's already it okay so i can unfriend brian send a friend request and unsend it and oh it's computing but uh hope this video helped you and you learned something for short tips check out tipsler.com